even as they did uh, the uh, Holy Communion, they do that every now and then at this church, where I only go a few times every year because it's so dead. Uh, I'm a Christian, as I mentioned, I'm a Christian pastor evangelist uh, dedicated to the faith. But some of these people at the church, members, are, are, are basically they're gaming the system. You know, they volunteer to do this or that, to uh, check it off their box and to say they've done their, they've done their job. Even when she came around with Holy Communion, I, I, you know, I try to nod and be nice and, and the gal, I, I say thank you. She should just nod, and, and but she makes a moment. She makes a uh, she makes a, a, a an intentional point of trying to say you're welcome, as if I'm a little kid. I'm 49 years old, and she's trying to she's trying to uh, what do you say, baby me or something like that, to try to put me in my spot. It's like don't act too big for your britches, and it's. Uh, it's just kind of disgusting, to tell you the truth. And uh, I see a lot of these members, they're gaming the system. They look sick. They look dead. They look ill. They don't look happy. They're not, a, uh, they're not um, evangelical outside the church. Um, it's very frightening because they got to be putting as much time doing their living their faith outside the church as they do inside. At least they should be putting more time. The, the church itself should be a place for uh, re-energizing and, and a brief inspirational moment and then to put you back out. And the church should not be an end in and of itself. It should be the means to an end as a mission outpost of sorts.